Okay, today we're going to be changing the oil and oil filter in a 2007 Saturn View. Uh, the procedure is like most other cars, so you can follow along even if you have a different vehicle. First thing you want to do is start the car. Get the engine warmed up, give it 5-10 minutes, that way when we drain the oil it will flow out really freely and a lot easy. On this vehicle, when the car's warmed up, turn it all the way to the right. That will make accessing the oil filter a lot easier. Here are some of the tools we need for this job. You need the correct oil. Uh, it's usually written on your oil cap or in your service manual. You need an oil filter. You may need an oil filter removal tool, depending on how seized on it is. This vehicle, a 13mm or half inch socket, and an oil dra drain pan or bucket or something like that. Okay, the next step is to locate the oil drain port on this car. It's underneath the passenger side, so there's the wheel. There's where a lot of the oil sits. And there's a little label here that says oil drain. And the bolt is right there. It's uh, 13 millimeters or half inch. It's on the other side there. Okay, get your oil drain pan on standby. So put that underneath or immediately next to the bolt. Okay, there's not much leverage here. You, you can jack the vehicle up if you would like, but it's uh, a lot easier to do it with, without doing that. Uh, put your wrench on. Um, if you can't get the leverage, you can utilize your feet from this side, or you can jack the vehicle up. I also uh, recommend you might need to put penetrating uh, grease on here as well. I find um, mixing transmission fluid with uh, acetone works really well, 50-50 mix. Just pour that on the bolt uh, and give it a few minutes to seep in, 5-10 minutes and it should loosen quite well. So the idea is we loosen this nut as much as we can. You will get a little spillage and just have your drain pan ready to quickly fire under the. Okay, I've loosened the bolt so it's just finger loose now. Um, make sure you don't burn your fingers, so you might need a little rag or something, depending on how long you uh, warmed your engine up, it might be quite warm. Okay, after about five minutes, it'll probably just be dripping like this, uh, in which case it's probably safe to put the nut back on and start at the oil filter. The oil filter on this car, again on the passenger side, right there, so it's this, little device right there. You may need an oil filter wrench on it or you can just turn it by hand depending on how tight the filter has been installed and maybe it might even be seized on there too. So what we're going to do, drag our oil pan across underneath here and loosen the filter and take it off. When tightening the bolt, your manual probably has a torque spec. Uh, if you don't have a torque wrench or anything like that, just make sure it's quite snugly tight, but don't overdo it so it strips the uh, threads on the bolt. So That should be plenty. The next thing, if you spill any oil on uh, uh, any part of the car, such as the exhaust, it will start to smell when you uh, turn the car on because it's going to burn away. So just make sure it's dry or at least clean. Uh, get some water on it or something and just get it off these components that heat up. Okay, so the next part of the job is the oil filter. Just pull your pan underneath the filter and loosen it. And it should fall off and start leaking a bit of oil. There isn't a whole lot in the filter, uh, so it won't be a long time before it's completely drained. Okay, three things about the oil filters. Number one, make sure your new part is of the same size as the old part. Uh, the length of, well, sorry, the height of the filter doesn't matter that much. It's more so the diameter, because this gasket must seal the oil here. So the diameter, and also uh, the thread pitch and size of the centerpiece here. If they visibly look the same and you know you did a good job purchasing the right one, I've linked the correct one in the description below, then you should be fine. Uh, when removing the old filter, there will be a rubber gasket around the top. Make sure this comes off because the last thing you want is the old rubber gasket to stick to the car and then you put the new gas um, filter on and you have two gaskets here, so make sure it is removed. With the new gasket, just take a bit of old oil and lube up the new gasket. 
this ensures a nice uh, oil tight seal I should say when putting the new filter on the car. The next step is to just screw the filter back on the car the same way the old one came off. I did make quite a bit of mess so make sure you use more rags than I did, I obviously didn't use enough of them. Okay so the cool thing about this new oil filter here is that this black piece is really grippy so even though it's slightly oil covered it still gives you a good grip when uh, installing the new filter. So when you put these on, if you have a somewhat good grip, just uh, make sure it's as tight as you can get it with your hands. If your grip isn't that good and you can't really get it on, then I recommend using an oil uh, filter wrench tool just to nip it a bit tight. The last thing you want to do is over tighten these because you could damage the threads on such an integral part of the car, which is the engine, so that's the last thing you want to do. What I recommend is over the next few days, just check that you're not leaking oil underneath the car because vibrations can shake these things loose so you want that good compromise of snug fitting but not too loose but not too tight so how do you know how much came out how much to refill well number one you can look it up on the internet this car is uh, engine holds five quarts you're not going to get every last dribble it out but um it's a five quart drain really uh, give or take a tiny little bit um Next part, um, you're going to recycle the oil anyway, so I assume you're going to bottle it up. Once you've collected quite a few, take them all to a recycling uh, centre. Uh, handle this responsibly. And you can clearly see we've drained one gallon, 3.78 litres, and maybe another litre in there. So five quarts is 4.7 litres, it looks like around five quarts came out. So we're going to drop five quarts into the vehicle. Okay, so the oil refill uh, cap is right here. Your type of oil is usually on the cap, as I mentioned earlier. And we just need a funnel to funnel this in. If you're not sure if five quarts totally came out, put four and a half in. The good thing about the uh, most cars anyway, you have an oil dipstick, so you can always check the level. So check out my old oil here, totally black. That is a good sign you need an oil change. If you look at your new oil you just purchased, you'll see it's a lot clearer there than this. So once the new oil is in there, just give it five minutes, let the oil settle around. Um, start the car, a couple of minutes, stop the car, check your oil on the dipstick, it should be nicely in the middle of the low and high range here. So now your oil's been topped up, put the oil cap on so it's nice and snug. Start the car for a couple minutes and just look underneath the car for any leaks or anything like that. So give it a couple of minutes, have a look underneath. You can see there's absolutely no oil leaks or dripping at all. Just make sure the engine's warm when you check because uh, engines expand with the heat. So nothing's dripping down other than the five star mess I made. So make sure you do have plenty of rags. And uh, that's about it really. Once you've, uh, the engine's nice and warm, just check your oil level on the dipstick and you should be between the high and low. So um, yeah, thank you for watching and uh, let me know how you do.